What is going on world? I am the Hungarian Experiment and if you've been following along my journey you will know that I just finished up reading this amazing resource. Once again gotta give a big shout out to Matt McKeever for showing me and even giving me this book. It's helped me a lot upon my journey. But today I want to take you guys through one page of this book and I want to analyze it and discuss my own opinions and ideas and theories on the subject. So let's dive into it here. So this comes from chapter 7, Foundations of Economics and Finance. And more specifically the uh, little section here on personal economics. Personal economics is the study of the principles of how individuals can most efficiently acquire resources, create and derive utility and decompose or dispose of the resulting waste in a way that turns it back into resources. Ideally, society would be set up in a sustainable fashion so that the material cycle runs in a stable, non-growing fashion with no losses. In such a system, waste wouldn't be a problem since it would serve as a resource for the next cycle. For example, leftover food would be composted and turned into fertilizer for the next harvest rather than ending up in landfills. Bags, houses, and even computers could be disposed of in a similar fashion, serving as raw materials for the next evolution. Currently, this is far from the case. Modern living mostly involves producing products, consuming them, and then throwing them out with money driving the cycle. And this is what I want to discuss here. Although I am extremely hopeful with where the future is headed, I feel many of us who are part of this society right now, we don't see our own hypocritical nature. We judge people. We want to tell others what they should do, how they should live their lives, and even what labels or titles we should call each other. when. There are still so many issues within our own lives that we disregard in the name of the almighty dollar. We can't be stewards of the planet and represent societal change in other areas of the world when we are hypocritical and destructive in our own nature. As I displayed in my recent video discussing racism with racists and bigots, I highlight and I show how people with certain mentalities have such strong emotional connections to their beliefs in the world that they are willing to disregard key points of information to further justify their hypocritical path. The change that this world needs won't come from everyone suddenly recycling or everyone suddenly turning vegan or even labeling people with the gender pronouns that they identify with. These are little parts of the whole. It won't be us who change the world. It will be the next few generations, but our duty as this generation between the TV and the internet is to represent that change. We have to show these kids growing up what's worth living for, what's worth dying for, and what's worth wasting our time arguing and discussing. Represent what you want to see in this world. Be that change. Be true through and through.